Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a booty lower body posterior set, starting with a quick full body warm up. You're gonna need two things, a set of heavier, moderate to heavy weights, and one medium to light resistance band. We're gonna start our warm up without any equipment, so get in, go ahead and walk with your feet slightly wider than the hips, toes turned out, stacking the shoulders right over the hips. We take it down, two, lift, two, down, lift. Keep that core in nice and tight, nice strong core throughout. Knees pressing back toward the back wall. Speed it up right here, down, lift, down, lift. Hold it low right here, pulse, pulse. As you pulse, think pressing those knees back toward that back wall, keeping that core in nice and tight. Here's four, three, two, hold that pulse. You're gonna turn the toes to the front. You're gonna lean, two, lift, two. As you lean, you feel that little pull through your posterior, back through your glutes, your hamstrings. That's what we're looking for, waking up that posterior side of your legs. Speed it up right here, a down, lift. Lean, lift. As you lean, you've got that strong reach forward, shifting that gaze down toward the floor in front of you. Hold it low right here and pulse, pulse, pulse. Four, three, two, lift one. All right, we're gonna alternate between those two. Toes out, lift, toes forward, lean. Lift, toes out, down, toes forward, lean. Four more right here. Here's four. Here's three. Last two. Last one right here. Back to that wide second position. You hold it low, then you lunge. Hold the center, lunge. Center, lunge. Center, lunge. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. Hold it low on one. All right, we're gonna turn and shift to that side. Face that side wall, arms up overhead. We lean, lift. Two, back to that lunge. Two, lean, lift. Back to your lunge. You can modify by keeping that toe on the floor, extending that back leg. Otherwise, you're anchoring yourself to your core as you lift that back leg to find your balance. Keeping your head in line with the spine. Here's four. Three, two, Last one, we're gonna get back into that position, hold that lean, your toe lower tap, squeeze lift, lower tap, squeeze lift. Here's three, two, hold the lift on one, lift tempo here, lift, lift. Here's four, three, two, back to the lat lunge, take it back to center, pivot to the other side. Lean, lift, two. Lunge, two. Lean, lift, two counts. Lunge, two counts. Keep that going, few more. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Here's four, three, two. Hold the lean right here. That toe, lower tap, squeeze, lift. Lower tap the floor, squeeze, lift. Keeping that core in tight the whole time. Keeping your gaze right at the floor in front of you. Here's three. Here's two. Pull the lift on one little lift up tempo. Lift, lift. Last four, here's four. Three, two, two, one, back to center, to get back to the center, you've got eight more singles for eight, seven, six, here's five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, release, okay. We're gonna start with our heavy set of weights. Shake it out, quick sip of water if you need it. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. Now that we're nice and warm, catch your breath, grab your weights, and let's get going. We're gonna start 
with an RDL set. So you're gonna grab two moderate weights. I've got eight pounds here. Whatever you feel like you can hang on to for the entirety of the set, but that's gonna challenge you with your, challenge you and bring you to muscular fatigue. So you're gonna stand with your feet hip width apart, toes parallel. Slight step back with that right foot. You're gonna lean forward two counts. Lean, two, lift, two, lean, lift. I'll show you from the side. As you lean, you keep your shoulder blades pinched together behind you. Shoulders rolled down and back, away from the ears. Crapping yourself onto that front leg. Kick stand in the back. Speed it up right here. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Waking up that backside of that right leg. Hold it low right here. Just pulse, pulse, pulse. As you do this thing, pinching those shoulder blades, rolling those shoulders down and back, letting those weights just hang off to the side. All right, little combo here. We lean, tap, back, lift. Lean, tap, back, lift. Keep that going for four. Here's three. Here's two. Here's one. You're gonna hold it nice and low right here where you're gonna tap forward and back. Forward, back, forward, back. You find a slight pulse with each tap. Here's four. Keep it back nice and strong. Here's two. Hold it back on one. You're gonna find a lean and float that back toe. Modify by keeping that toe on the floor. Lean, two, lift, two. Lean, two, lift, two. So you're finding your balance here, anchoring yourself to the core. Think spread those toes apart on the floor. Four more, here's four. Here's three. Last two. Last one right here, hold that lean. You're gonna bring those elbows back behind you. Row, release, row, release. Isometric hold with that upper body, that lower body. Here's four, three, two, one. Hold it low, lift that foot, lift, lift. This is where you finish, finish strong right here. Keep that back nice and strong. Last eight, here's eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, okay. You're gonna lose your weights. We're gonna come down to the floor. Coming down onto the hands and knees, sticking with that right side like you just did. On your hands and knees, nice parallel, parallel stance. Keep that core nice and controlled, nice and engaged. Keep your back flat and neutral. We're gonna pull that right leg to a hover, point the toe. We lift the knee out, two down, two, out, and down. Soften in the elbows here. You can modify this at any time by coming down to that left elbow, that opposite elbow on the forearm. Two more. Last one right here. Hold that lift, flex that foot, back, two, forward, two, back, two, forward, two. Bringing that knee all the way back and then all the way forward toward that elbow, toward that shoulder, like you're sliding your leg across the bench next to you. Keep it going, back, two, forward, two. Hold it forward right here, keep that foot flexed, press back. Press, press, like you're pressing your heel into a wall behind you, keeping that knee lifted, keeping that leg parallel to the floor. Here's four, three, two, hold it back on one point, that toe, extend it out, two counts, out, two, in, two, two, heel to the seat, two. Great job, keep it going, out, 
two, in, two. Hold it out right here, flex that foot. You lower, tap, lift, tap, lift. Keep it going. You are almost done. Maybe this is the time you need to take that modification. Coming down to that forearm. Hold the lift right here, just press it forward. Press, press. One more change after this, finish strong. Get that leg as straight and as far forward as you can get it. Keep it lifted high. Four, three, two, hold it forward, one, lift to finish right here. Your leg, lift, lift. As high as you can get those lifts. We're not swinging, we're squeezing. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Great job. Quick child's pose. Shake it out. You're going to pull that knee in, plant it right behind the hands, and sink back into this stretch right here, rolling side to side over that hip, over that glute. Good job. And then go ahead and plant that toe, plant your hands back into your pike, and float yourself back up slowly. Quick sip of water. And we're gonna even this out on the other side. Okay. Back to our weights. If you're wondering what we're doing with the band, we're getting to that at the end. All right, other foot this time. Step back with that right foot. Keep that left foot in front. Down, two, lift, two. Down, lift. Remember, as you do this, you want to make sure you're keeping a nice, strong, flat back, that you're keeping your shoulder blades pinched together behind you. Speed it up right here. Lean, lift, lean, lift. Letting those weights fall right beneath the knee and then all the way up to that extended position. That back leg is a kickstand for you. Here's four. Here's three, here's two, here's one. Hold it low, we got that little combo. Tap, back, lift, lean. Tap, back, lift, lean. Think of that lean as being a hinge. Hinging from the hips, tap, back, lift, hinge. Here's four, here's three, here's two, here's one. Hold it low, pulse it there. Pulse, pulse. And turn to the side for this lean lift. You can see this form. Here's three, two, Hold it low right here. We're gonna lift that back leg as we lean forward. Two, lift, two, forward, two, lift, two. Just like we did in the warm up, think of your body as a teeter totter. You want a straight line from the head to the toe. Keep it going. Lean, two, lift, two. Be careful not to drop those weights forward toward the floor. Keep that back strong. Shoulders rolled back, pinching those shoulder blades together. Hold it low right here on that lean. You're gonna pull those elbows back, down. Pull them back, down. Four. Three. Two. Here's one, hold it low right here. Lift that leg to finish. Four, eight. Seven. Six. Five, hang on to it. Here's four, three, two, two more lifts. Two, one, release, great job. Lose those weights. Roll that foot, shake it out. Come down to the floor. We're gonna finish with that same side, that left side seat on the hands and knees. Nice neutral spine, core pulled in tight. Float that left toe in point. Out, two, down, two, lift, two, down, 
two. Feeling that squeeze all through, also through the obliques as you lift that leg laterally to the side. You can also come down to the forearm if you need to modify this move. Here's three. A way to take this up a notch, placing a weight behind the knee. You can always grab a lighter weight, hook it there right behind your knee for an added, added push. Four. Here's three. Here's two. Here's one. Hold it up, flex the foot, slide it back. Two, forward, two, back, two, forward, two. Keeping a soft bend in the elbows, driving that knee up toward the shoulder. Nice job. Hang on to it. Here's three. Here's two. Hold it forward on one. You're gonna press that heel back to tempo. Here we go, nice flex foot. Press, press. You feel the core engaging a lot here. That's what we're going for. Hang on to that strong core. Here's four, three, two. Hold the press on one, flex the foot. Out, two. Heel to the seat, two. Out, two. Heel to the seat, two. This might be the time that you feel the need to come down to that forearm. Take that modification if you need it. Out, two. Heel to the seat, two. Four more. Here's three. Hang on for two. And one. Hold it out. Flex that foot. You're going to lower tap that foot and lift. Lower tap lift lower tap lift you're trying to get that foot up as close as you can toward your chest toward your extended arm here's four three two hold that lift on one press it forward press press four three hold it forward lift to finish right here hang on to it we got this Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, straightest leg, four, two, two more lifts, two, one, release, great job. Back to your child's pose, knees out, kiss those toes. Feels nice. Roll up, you're gonna pull that knee into the chest, right between the hands there, set that other leg back. Slowly lo lower yourself onto that thigh and roll over that hip, that glute. Ooh. All right. Okay, we've got one more little burn for you. You're gonna lie on your back. I know you're excited to hear that. Don't get too excited. Lie on your back, grab your weight. You're gonna walk your feet out wider than the hips, toes turned out. You're gonna grab one or both weights and set it right there on your hips. The weight is optional. You can always take the weight out of the equation. I had an extra challenge for this one, I remember. Grab your band. Place the band right around the thighs, right above the knees. Make sure it's nice and flush. Adds an extra layer here. Now place that, hip, that weight on the hip. Feet turn out, right to the outsides of the mat, toes turn out. Squeeze your seat to lift your hips to the ceiling. Lift, two, down, two. Lift and down. You don't need the band for this one, it just adds a little extra layer of resistance, of challenge for those abductors and those, that medial part of your seat. Here's three. Here's two. The last one. Now we're going to speed this up. Here we go. Squeeze, lift, lower, squeeze, lift, Lower, you're actively pressing your knees out against that band the whole time. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. Here's one, hold it up at the top. We're gonna press those knees out. We go out, out, hold, out, out, freeze. So a little pause there between each, a little press, pause. Driving those hips up to the ceiling the whole time. Nice job. 
Here's four, three, two, hold that press on one, hip circles, circle, circle. Reverse that circle here, circle, circle. Nice job. Hold that circle, lift those heels up, step it out, two, in, two. You may need to press those elbows down into the floor right here. Keep a nice strong core. That instability puts a greater demand on the core here. That's what we're looking for. Here's four. Keep those hips driving up to the ceiling. Here's three. Here's two. Keep those toes out. Hold it out on one. Legs at about a 45 degree angle, knees pressing out. Lower tap, lift, lower tap, lift. Moving that demand more from your glute down toward your hamstring. Three, two, hold that lift on one, knees press out, press, press. You've got one little press after this to finish, one little push, finish strong. Hang on to it, you are almost done. Give it all you got this lap set. Here's four, three, two, hold that press on one, drive those hips up to finish. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two more lifts. Here's two, one, melt down. Press that lower back to the floor, lose that weight. We're gonna lose this band as well. I'm gonna do a quick stretch to finish, finish with some mobility. Both knees into the chest, then pull those knees out, let those toes fall out, and go ahead and let those heels fall to the floor, and then pulling those knees back toward the shoulder. Kind of like a child's pose, that happy baby pose. If you're a yogi, my daughter loves this pose. <laughs> okay, let those feet fall down. You're gonna extend both legs straight. Now pull that right knee to the chest, then you're gonna take that knee across your body, hooking your opposite hand behind the knee, let it fall to the floor, and then take the other arm, reach it the other direction, look that direction. Hang out right there. Big inhale on your exhale, you sink deeper into the stretch. Nice job. Take it back to center. And then you're gonna extend that leg straight. You're gonna walk your hands up as high as you can get them on that leg, and hang out right there. Pulling that straight leg as close as you can. Take it a little bit to the right, and then slightly to the left. Good job. Then you can cross that leg into that figure four position. Hang out right there. We're gonna switch it to the other side here. Unravel. Pull that left knee into the chest. And then you're gonna take that leg, take it across your body as you twist, pressing that knee down toward the floor, reaching with the other arm, looking the opposite direction. Feeling that nice, nice twist through your spine. Lean into that, relax into that. Slow breaths here. Take it back to center. Extend that leg up as straight as you can get it. Walk your hands up. Four, three, two, release on one. You can pull that knee up, hang out right there. Little figure four, pressing that knee. Good job, knees into the chest. Slowly roll yourself up. You can plant your feet hip width apart. Let your fingertips just hang out there. Little bend in the knees. We want to extend, bend, extend, bend. Nice job. All right, you're gonna sink that seat down, turn those toes out, press the knees out with the elbows, hands to a prayer position right there at the chest. You're just gonna rock side to side right here, opening those hips up. Let those knees alternate, falling forward, shifting your weight over each heel. You can take this a step further by planting those hands or fingertips into the floor and leaning forward, pressing that weight, shifting that weight into the palms, opening up those hips even more. Great job. Now go ahead and take it back. We're gonna slowly roll up, turn those toes forward one more time. 
One vertebrae at a time, rolling the shoulders. Head is the last to lift. Great job. Thanks for joining me today. Come back for more.